joining me this morning at the Pegasus at the Jamaica Stock Exchange 19th Regional Capital Markets Conference is Mr. Garud Hamilton. Of course, he's from Dequity Capital. Garud, welcome to the show, man. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Right. Great to have you. Now, Dequity, you're, you're one of the big names. New name, relatively new name, but big name in the capital markets all of a sudden. Who is Dequity? Well, you know, De Dequity is a, is a force to be reckoned. Um, that's how we de des describe it. You know, uh, we're, we're new but dynamic um, um, with very experienced um, um, uh, leadership. You know, um, with Mr. Kadeem Mears as the uh, CEO. Um, you, you know what he did with Dollar Financial. Absolutely. Uh, and, and, and we, you know, he's widened, widened his portfolio now and really moving to invest in more companies and grow companies to the lever that, that, that Dollar Financial is and beyond. I, I, I'm happy that you, 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 you went right into investing in companies and growing companies because essentially that's where your strength seems to be. You're, you're, you're in private capital, the private capital market, which is a relatively new market to the Jamaican capital market scene. How are you finding um, your, your, your clients and, 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 and person's reaction to, to funding in that way? You know, it, it's exciting, you know, and you know, one of our mantra and really the culture of Dequity is we invest in entrepreneurs and not companies. So, so identifying the people and the people who are running those companies and, and really identify companies that people even think that, 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 that are not important and pe companies that are not even performing well financially but we see we see um you know look at them look into their, their their numbers looking at what they're doing and understanding their business and see potential in growing those business and that's how we go around and make some decisions and as you know you know we you know we're in the, the you know the microfinance business with with, with ownership of dollar financial we also m24 investment um, also, with respect to, to, to currency and currency um, exchange, we're expanding M24 a whole lot as well. So we're having, going to have two locations in, in, in Kingston, well, two locations in Montego Bay and one in Kingston coming up soon. So that's what we're looking for. We're also in real estate with Johnson's development. Um, uh, and, and we have the cardinal uh, development that, 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 broke, you know, that will be delivered and, and is uh, uh, and will, uh, available for sale now. But it's actually um, also, um, you know, next month it's going to be fully completed, which is, uh, um, you know, great in terms of we, we deliver on time with respect to that. So, it's, we, you know, it, we, we, we invest in many different markets, and, 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 but we, we invest in persons as well. I don't want you to be running the things so fast. Yes, <laughs> all right. Because yes. Yes. You just told the people yes. that Deputy is into all of these markets and all of these different companies. Yes. But at the same time, you're investing in entrepreneurship, which is different from a, 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 a debt finance where somebody comes on, some, you go to a bank, they say, well, um, let me see your books. Can you afford to pay me back this loan every month for the next five, ten years. And that's what they're looking for. But you are saying, let's move away from that. Let me see whether your company, although on the face of it, given what you're doing now, you might not be able to pay me every month for the next six months. But let me see if you can grow and double your revenue and double your profits in the next five years. That's a new concept. It is, it is, it is a new concept. But, you know, but we, we, we think of it, you know, if you look all the way on, on Walt Disney, like, you know, he was ejected, you know, about a, 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 a million times, and he didn't, you know, find his, 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 his real, you know, somebody who, who invested him in and believed in him until he was like almost 60 years old. So, so it, it's, the, you know, looking at the personal aspect of, of, of people, their drive, you know who they are you know their, their moral background also you know what i mean and that's extremely important but also how is those companies going to affect jamaica socially as well you know so there's a social aspect with you know with respect to healthcare, royal you know royal medical which we just um acquired winchester medical center as well so there's winchester medical center in um in 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 halfway tree so you're, you're, you're going into yes. non-traditional areas. 
the areas that traditional finances have been afraid of taking on. But do you have the expertise? To <laughs> and that's the reason why we invest around key expertise that we have as shareholders and as, as, as you know, so as I explained to you, my, my expertise is in healthcare and healthcare design. You know, that's, you know, so, so Karim and I, you know, came together and we decided that we, we're going to be ambitious and we want to build a healthcare system in Jamaica. And we start with Royal in, in Westmoreland. We expanded with Winchester Medical Center. We've combined both group now for the, the Royal Winchester Hospital, which we're going to bring to the market. Which, you see, you're just running ahead with everything because that was my next question. So you are investing in all of these companies. To what end? Because uh, certainly you want more, some of that money to come back into the business to reinvest to other people. What is the exit strategy? The exit strategy is, is to really bring these, these markets. The, the, the idea that we're trying to do is to bring at least two companies per year to the market. This year, we're going to bring Royal uh, Winchester um, uh, Hospital Group. So the idea, that's the exit strategy, is really growing them, um, you know, bring them to the market and allowing them to flourish, um, you know, as, you know, Kadim did with Dollar Financial, you know, it, you know, he, you know, Kev, you know, Caron is now running, you know, uh, the CEO, just moving on and, and, and really creating these companies and allowing them, building their, 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 their structure, um, making sure that, you know, um, they work with the Jamaica Stock Exchange um, and, and, and build their, 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 their whole um, um, structure before they go to the market. So that's important. And, that's and, 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 and that is a critical point that you've made. I, I spoke with Dr. King yesterday yes. and, and we looked at the growth yes. and evolution of the capital markets, including the, the stock market itself over the last couple of years and, and, and certainly within the last decade um, the financial space has seen phenomen phenomenal changes. You are looking at that as one of the exit strategies. Oh yes, absolutely. And you know, and, and, you know for, it, for you to look at the, you know, the market in terms of where it is, is understanding the possibilities associated with these companies. And, and the, you know, the, as I said, the social impact that it will have. But, you know, the, the access to health care, you know, access to, to, you know, access to money. And that's the reason why Dollar Financial um, um, did so well. And, and if you understand that, you know, I, you know, this is something that I'm going to be talking about later on is small uh, and, 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 and medium sized business. Those are the heartbeat of our economy. If we can, if we can continue to provide an environment for continuous growth, and, and, and pump money into small and, 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 and medium-sized business, Jamaica is going to be in a, you know, we're in a good position. Garoud, I, I, I want to go back to something. You said at the start, we invest in entrepreneurs. But by your very action, um, one of the reasons why Decuity, a new company, is already in the face of everybody is because of your CEO. Yes, absolutely. Who took dollar financial to heights persons couldn't have imagined and then all of a sudden he's gone and people are saying why what is happening and then we hear oh he's at Dequity and Dequity is now in our faces the concept of investing in people the concept of looking at the leadership of a company is that something that is realistic? Yes, we've seen it through that experience. But how much of that can we reproduce? No, but you have to understand, and if you look at, look at the statistics with the biggest companies, the Tesla and Elon Musk and, and the Microsoft, um, you know, look at those companies and, and, and the Bill Gates. Look at who they are and what they do and how much, you know, the leadership that they, 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 they create. So, you know, if a lot of people, remember, it's 10 years um, you know, Tesla was operating without making a profit, but he understand, but we believe in it. And I'm sure if Elon Musk come out with a, with a new company, you would invest it. So you look for the person, you look for the leadership that he, that, that, that he carries. And that's the reason why I, you know, I believe in Kadeen. I was the first investor in, 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 uh, in, in equity. Um, we went to the same high school, but you know, I'm much older than him. So he, he's always want me to declare that much older than him, but we understand, understand the person, you know, so we, not only the business side, understand who you are, 
what you stand for, your drive, your resilience as well. Because this is a challenging um, um, situation. You're going to have, you know, challenging situation like COVID. You know, how are you going to react? How you react to those, um, those type of, uh, you know, challenges? And, and, and those are, are, are some of the, 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 I think, the tenants that you have to look at in a person to really see the driver and how he's going to navigate these waters. When we look, when we look, Garoud, at, at our diaspora, and, and I'm not talking just the Jamaican diaspora, the Caribbean diaspora as a region, the kind of wealth and potential capital that exists, it's look, looking bigger than just remittances. <laughs> Can you imagine if we were to say to the diaspora, we have entrepreneurs in Jamaica and in the rest of the region, look at them. It changed the concept of how we're looking at youth, wouldn't it? No, absolutely. And, and as you know, I live in the U.S. You know, I've been in the U.S. for 20 years. And then, you know, previous to that, I was in London for nine years. I invest in about three companies here. So it's not only the equity. Real equity, you know, which you see 218 Mountain View Avenue, yes. that office building. That's, that's, I own 25% of a company with my partner, Sean Shelton, Ron, and, and Neil Crooks. Ron, uh, so... I, I believe in, 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 in um, Jamaica's economy. I believe that, that we have, you know, I could tell you those are my best investments ever. And I live in the States. You know, I tell you, I'm, I'm working, you know, I work for the, one of the biggest engineering companies with 75,000 people. The best investment I've ever made is in the capital market and in Jamaica. Best. And, and that gives it my greatest return. It's a big statement that you've made. Absolutely. And, and, and so you are saying to us, we need to rip up the script. <laughs> the old script as we knew it. We are, yes, there are going to be some debt financing which requires you to look at the collateral and all of that. But you are saying, let us look. Let us do the analysis. Let us use the capital markets. Let us look at our people there's big money to be made. Absolutely. And, and, and to follow up on that, that equity is also registered, you know, DUSA is also registered in the U.S. Um, you know, as a vehicle, you know, to raise capital and as, as a private equity as well. So that's the next step that, that, that the equity is making and has made. So we understand, you know, we understand the, uh, the opportunities that the, the diaspora can offer. We have to give them the vehicle to do that. And I am, you know, as a part of the company, you know, showing them the example. You know, I live in proof that if you come and invest, the returns are going to be amazing. Talk to me about our ability. Are we ready as a nation? I mean, the capital markets has grown, it has evolved, great things are happening. Is Jamaica and the Caribbean, by extension, ready to say to the world, you're not just involved in investing in a bond that the government can pay X, Y, Z. But we are an emerging market, yes. yes. But our capital market is first world. Are we ready to say that? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. We are ready. Yeah. You know, if you, look, if you look at what Jamaica is doing in terms of our rating, or B, or, or B, B minus rating, you know, I, 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 I don't take that for granted. You know, if you look at how much we've, we've rebound after the COVID-19. If I came to the airport in December, the Montego Bay airport, and I've never seen so much people in one airport and I've traveled the world. Jamaica is attracting, you know, the, the greatest. Prince Harry was just here for the Bob Marley biopic. You know, him and his, it, it, Meghan. We're a country that, that, that we're so, you know, the people and, you know, and, and the people are, are, are such, are so great at, 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 at just attracting folks around them. And, and, and we're vibrant, you know, we're talented. We have everything that it takes. And Jamaica, I think we're prime. We're actually the prime, especially the capital market. I have people, I remember when Dollar Financial was going, um, going public. And I'm in the U.S. and people are coming to me and said, hey, hey, how, how can I get in? How can I get in? I, I'm, I'm at, I went to, to, to see the ambassador, Arjun Marks, who's a good friend of mine. And the staff are saying, hey, yo, you know, when can I put some money in? So imagine they're getting excited 
in the US and diaspora is getting excited. And that's about dollar. Can you imagine we listing the rest of the companies and how excited they will get and having the opportunity to really invest and it's and, and, and you're now building out that pipeline. Absolutely. Lining it up. Absolutely. Exciting days ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm so I, I've never been more excited. You have to slow me down. That's that's what it is. You see, you have to slow me Garuda, down. Garuda, I want to thank you for joining us here and let's talk stocks, man. And we're looking forward. You know. Remember, it's being recorded. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> it's, the people out there are seeing it. Yes, they're yes. gonna hold you to it. Of course, man. We will. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you.